Hi there. Plenty of rain or showers to talk about over the next few days, but uh, one thing we'll all notice is it's going to be milder compared with the last few days. Milder even for the far north of Scotland, although we are clinging on to some colder conditions here. Temperatures are around average for northern Scotland, but across the rest of the UK it's above average, even though we've got a cold front moving through. Temperatures aren't dropping much as we go through the night. A lot of cloud remains there. That cold front still bringing some spells of rain for East Anglia and southern counties of England. The rain easing off for a time before pepping up again towards the end of the night. Elsewhere, it's showers, some lively showers for Northern Ireland and then into central and southern Scotland, perhaps even some rumbles of thunder. More persistent damp weather into the far north of Scotland. A lot of cloud on the map, not many breaks in that cloud. And so with the wind coming from the south and southwest, is going to be a frost-free night, temperatures dipping to the mid to high single figures. But it's a grey and damp start for many. The rain, as you can see, starts to turn heavier and more persistent once again across the southeast and East Anglia. That lingers until after lunchtime, I think, in places. Otherwise, brighter skies start to emerge, but quite a number of showers. And those showers will be in places fairly heavy with hail and thunder, especially across central parts of England, although away from the showers in central England and towards the northeast, that's where the highest temperatures would be. So generally 11 to 14 Celsius, but where we get some sunshine and a bit of uh, a fern effect, perhaps 16 Celsius is possible. One exception to the milder feel, the north of Scotland, especially around Caithness, Sutherland into Lewis, an area of low cloud persisting here, some drizzly stuff and temperatures at around four to five Celsius inland. Brighter skies though for Shetland and for Orkney, just one or two rain showers here. And the showers continue in many spots on Friday nights. It's looking like another cloudy night with further outbreaks of rain or showers, a very messy picture as you can see. The showers tending to ease off across central and eastern and the far north areas by the end of the night, continuing towards the west and more especially the northwest of Scotland. Another frost-free night to come away from the very far north of Scotland where if we get some cloud breaks there is the potential because of that uh, colder airflow there. However, Saturday starts off with a lot of cloud. Showers from the word go and I think for northern and western Scotland the showers merging to longer spells of rain for a time. Some uncertainty about the rainfall distribution across Scotland on Saturday but it does look like there'll be some wet weather about increasingly windy in the far north of Scotland. Otherwise light winds across England and Wales. Sunny spells yes but also some slow moving heavy downpours. Hail and thunder couldn't be ruled out as well especially across central and northeastern parts of England. But again, it's here where the highest temperatures will be, 13 or 14 Celsius widely, 15, maybe even 16 degrees in some of the warmer spots. Not feeling so warm again in the north of Scotland where it turns increasingly windy on Saturday night and that wind potentially reaching gale force around the Northern Isles, wet weather then moving through. And for many, Sunday starts off drier and brighter before more rain heads in from the west by the end of the day.